stage and hopes to do just that on Broadway or even the big screen one day. Sarah Costa introduces us to a great graduate named Jessica Willis, who didn't let the COVID-19 pandemic destroy her dream of performing. High school senior Jessica Willis says she has always had a big personality and has always loved the arts and performing. She says that passion for wanting to be on the stage grew while studying musical theater at Henry Ford Academy. Coming here and taking theater classes has um, really made me just kind of like feel confident in myself and what I'm doing. And it's something that I really love doing no matter where I'm at. But the HFA theater program has been put on hold for over a year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Jessica says it was heartbreaking to miss out on performing her senior year of high school. It is kind of sad that I can't like really obviously go out and like perform in front of a lot of people. But um, doing Zoom auditions and stuff was something I had to navigate and work around. But she didn't let the pandemic crush her dream of pursuing acting. She continued to work on her skills at home and audition virtually. That's what landed her scholarships to Texas Christian University in Fort Worth next semester to study musical theater. Obviously, like in my head, like my big like pipe dream would probably be like either Broadway or um, like TV or movies and stuff. She says the 100th Oscars is in seven years and she'll be 25 by then. She says if she can make it there, it would be a lifetime dream. But she says she just wants to be able to tell other people's stories in the future and that would make her the most happy. Just as long as I'm still performing in front of people, like no matter how big the crowd is and that I'm just being genuinely myself, I think that's the best goal for me in 10 years. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. We want to bring you the latest on the shooting in San Jose, California. We have gotten an update. The Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office now says that nine people were killed, including the shooter there. The shooting took place early this morning at an area that stores trains and has a maintenance yard. Right now, law enforcement is still searching the area after getting reports there could be explosive devices there. There's not a lot of information about the suspect other than he was an employee of the Valley Transit Authority. We will bring you the latest as we get more information. Meantime, we're going to head downtown to Market Square and SA Live. We, hey, it is an Ice Age dinosaur dig here. SA Live on Ice. <laughs> Coming to a city near you. Yes, author Christy Cuthbert is here with some great summer games and ideas for you and the kids to enjoy. What are we doing? We are doing an ice age dinosaur fun. dig. A uh, frozen bowl of water with some dollar store dinosaurs in there. We'll keep your kids busy for an hour. And, oh my gosh, I'm almost to it. And the adults too. And yeah. Mischief Makers, uh, she's got a book series. We are going to tell you all about that. This is so much fun here. Hey, we're going to go up to Bernie and a great restaurant up there called the Dodging Duck. And Jen is going to take us there and tell us all about that. Of course, this is Wednesday. Yes, so you know what Wednesday is? It's hump day, so we have a camel here. Emily Jaffe, tell us one quick bit about who, so we, who we have here. This is Katarina. She lives at Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. Uh, she's a dromedary camel, which means she's got one hump. 40, 40, 40. 40, 40, 40. They can live to be up to 40 years old, run up to 40 miles an hour, and drink 40 gallons of water in one sitting. More on that. <laughs> a lot of great exotics coming up on SA Live. Happening now on KSET.com, an alligator found on Malachite Beach along with uh, the Padre Island National Seashore on Monday. This was according to the tags that officials found it on the gator. The, it had traveled all the way from my home state oh, of Louisiana. Did you know that alligator? Uh, you know a lot of things and a lot of people from Louisiana. I don't know. I think he came here for the weather. You don't recognize him? No. Officials said the animal was transported to a rehabilitation facility to recover from its long journey. We've got the full story on KZ.com. Wow. He just wanted a vacation on the beach. Yeah, you know? can't blame him. You can't blame him. Although he's coming from humidity, he thought maybe he'd get a break from that. Not so much. Not so much. Sorry no, about that. He'll uh, at least be acclimatized. It, it does feel like Louisiana here right now with all this humidity in place. That doesn't change. 20% chance of a shower today. We will see the sun pop out later this afternoon. 90 next couple days. 20% chance rain Friday night into Saturday. Watch for some storms coming in out of the north. And a few chances uh, maybe Saturday afternoon. Also additional chances as we get into next week guys all right thank you justin you know i know mike's a handyman but he was hammering on that uh ice thing pretty pretty hard so i'm yeah. a little worried be about careful it. guys no, no, i've made that mistake <laughs> yes hey live starts right now 
Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, happy Wild Wednesday. What can you tell? It's hump day. One of our camel friends from Animal World Snake Farm Zoo is here at Market Square. <laughs> and you are about to meet her and some of her, well, let's just say more intimidating friends in just a few minutes. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And of course, we are looking forward to hanging out with some of the exotic animals. Not only that camel, but a couple of other ones, one I'm not really fond of at all. But, you know, thanks to... Animal World Snake Farm and other folks, we've got to really hang out with some cool animals. Well, and they have great animal encounters there as yeah. well. So we want to know if you could have an animal encounter with any exotic or wild animal, what would it be? That you haven't already. That's a hard one. It's because so, you said something I haven't. Because um, we've done, I mean, remember the white lions that were on here the one time? They had the baby yep. the white lions yep. and all that stuff. Yep. Brother Tony got yep. to sleep. I, I can't think of anything. I know. Else. So let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter what yours would be. All right. School's almost out. And of course, you know, everybody's looking forward to the long holiday weekend coming up. A lot of folks are going somewhere, but then there's a whole summer where everybody is home and you got to have a lot of fun around the house. And boy, who better to come up with some great ideas than our guest? Our first guest knows how to keep kids busy. She's a mom of four boys and has even worked with the Today Show's parenting team. Those are great pictures. You and your crew, right, as you call them? Yes, <laughs> my squad. The squad. The squad. <laughs> I love Christy it. Christy Calvert is here. Mischief Makers is the book series, and you have got just wonderful ideas. And the cool thing about this is there's nothing electronic involved. Exactly, exactly. Listen, it is a very long day when they are not in school. So I like to have activities that don't break the bank to keep them occupied throughout the summer. We're going to start with an erupting car wash. <laughs> this is kid tested. My littlest boys and their friends, 90 minutes Friday night doing this. So start with your Hot Wheel. Uh, You're okay. going to dip it into your sudsy water and give it a little toothbrush scrub. Oh my goodness. Okay. All of these things have been purchased at the dollar store, so it's super affordable. Then you're gonna dip it into your cleaning agent okay. and then into the powdered soap, we'll call it, which is actually just baking soda. Um, so you've now, <laughs> now you're gonna spray it with the washers, which is just vinegar with some blue food coloring inside. And watch it erupt and suds up to give it a nice good clean. Or you can take a ketchup squeeze bottle and dump it on there and just go. <laughs> Get a <laughs> nice big explosion. Go. Wow. <laughs> Yours really got sudsy. Yes. Okay. Then you're just going to dip it into your sudsy water again to give it a good rinse. And then if you come over to the other side, what we've done is just taken some old dish towels, cut them down into Hot Wheel or Matchbox size, give them oh, a little dry. Oh, look at that. And you've got your personal little fan, you know, as the car drives out of the car wash and you go under the air. That's just to give him a nice good dry mm -hmm. on his way out. So yeah. what do you think would be a good way of then saying, hey, kids, would you like to do a big car now? And right? And you to wash your car and detail it. I know. That'd be fantastic. That would I'm, be I'm getting there. I'm just afraid they might start the process with the windows <laughs> down. Next time you're on the show. Yeah, we'll, we'll have right. them do the big cars. All right. Sounds <laughs> yeah. good. Deal. Next, mm -hmm. nutrition. Sneaking healthy food into kids can always be tough, but but you have got the perfect idea for this. Right, well when summer comes, you know, we snack a lot, right? There's popcorn, there's chips, there's always goodies out, there's always ice cream with fireworks and whatnot. So why not get something healthy into them right at breakfast time and make it feel like a treat? So we came up with sneaky popsicles. Basically you're mixing fruit, vegetables, um, some sort of juice or water, and I like to put Greek yogurt in them to give them a little bit of protein too, like great way to start the morning. You blend it all up, so Fiona's got carrots that have been steamed, mangoes and pineapple with some vanilla Greek yogurt. And Mike has spinach, blueberries, and diced up banana. And basically, you just give it a good blend, just like you would a smoothie. And we found this really great kit on Amazon called, I believe it's called Frozen. It comes with a little rubber funnel and little zipper bags. You pour your smoothie mixture into it, zip them up, Stick them in the freezer and you have breakfast popsicles. You can snip it just like you would an ice pop and they can chow down on that 
you know, before their activities in the summer and you know they're getting something healthy in their body at the start of the day. Look at that. And, and, and again, they're delicious. Yeah. You are going to be the coolest mom in the world because <laughs> yeah. you say, kids, would you like a popsicle for breakfast? Right, right. And it is cool. I mean, oh, that's cool. a great idea. <laughs> well, I don't have my sisters with me. Darn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, mm -hmm. you got to have the uh, not so healthy snack win. sometimes. Because right. whether you win the game or not, you're winning. Right. So yeah. now that you've had your popsicle and gotten in some food groups, mm -hmm. you know, the end of the school year can be kind of bittersweet for some kids. They're excited about summer, but they're going to miss their friends and, and the schedule and normalcy. So I always try to make a fun event that morning after school ends. So this was our idea at our home. We do a porch picnic. Put the blanket out, lay out breakfast, get the bubbles and the chart, the sidewalk chalk, everything out, and we do porch picnic bingo. So it's just basically like playing your standard game of bingo, but instead of using, you know, the little tabs to mark your spots, you use donut holes. Okay. And then you get to eat so delicious donut holes after. Right so there. All right, yeah, you've got your free one. Yeah. And then the first one I'm pulling is B15. Yeah. All right. Bingo. Oh wait, too soon. Oh uh, <laughs> no. So so if you don't have it, can you eat yours? Yes. They they can all be consumed by by the end of the game for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I have I18. Anybody have I18? Oh, Fiona, you got it there. No. I'm on the board. Yeah. So it's just, a, it's just a fun way to give them something to look forward to and spice up what would just be a normal breakfast. That's a great idea. Okay. All right, another activity. And I again, cardboard box and you said dollar store items, right? Yes, again, dollar store item, everything, you know, from there other than the box. All Basically, right. you just build a ramp on a cardboard box, get some plastic baseballs and some plastic laundry bins, and you've got yourself the old carnival game ski ball. Um, this was another one tested out by the kids. They played with this thing for well over an hour. They had so much fun with it. There you go. Oh. And these more, are great too. You know, it's a long day, right? They might swim in the morning, but need to get out of the sun and the heat in the afternoon. It's a great way. It's a great indoor activity as well. And okay. when they get too hot in the afternoon, more veggie pops. There you with go. All the fruit in Another there, serving so. in. They won't even know. You know, kids and parents can learn so much about these activities through your Mischief Maker book club that right. you have. And the second book is going to be coming out second fairly book soon. Second out, yeah. All right. Just it's a summer camp and a very important topic too, right? Right. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so because of our own uh, childhood anxiety in our own home with my kids, we decided to choose it as the theme for this book. Okay. And we, of course, got to hang out with you and learn and about the original Mischief Makers to learn more about this new book. This is my second book in the Mischief Makers series. Super excited about it, The Mischief Makers and the Summer Camp Worries. I decided to write this book because my son Teddy uh, and also my older son John have dealt with some childhood anxiety. And Teddy, right here, goes to summer camp, just starts having all these worry thoughts. We call it the worry coaster. Getting on that roller coaster and your mind goes places. A lot of the thoughts are far-fetched. What if a dragon comes out of the lake and swoops down and eats their cabin whole? And he tells him to his friend and his friend sits him down and talks to him about mindfulness, about not borrowing your troubles uh, and your worries and focusing on the present and what's right in front of you and your five senses, um, which is something we try to do with them when they're getting ramped up emotionally. And so that was kind of the concept for the book. Teddy was on board to talk about it and um, we think it's really exciting. Yeah, we have oh my god. Guess what? Who hides in there? Uh, we do mischief talks in there. You do mischief talks in there. <laughs> Does Bruce oh, get in there oh. too? Oh. Do you like being a character in your mom's books? Yes. What are some of those things that sometimes you've worried about before? Like a giant spider eats, or like a giant alligator eats stew. You worried about maybe a giant alligator eating stew? Yes. Yeah, I, I worry about that with my dogs too. I have this thing called a worry doll. They come in huge packs, put them under my pillow, and then they take and they tell them the worries and they take it away. He, he fears that when his mom is in a rush at pickup, um, she won't see him and his brothers will fall in love with a new child that she grabs by accident named Sid. When I worry that night and the worry dolls aren't working, I grab a stuffed animal and I go to my brother Tommy's room and then I go on the top bunk to sleep. <laughs> and that helps? Yeah, that sounds like it would help. Biggest mystery maker is this man right here. <laughs> this man right here. <laughs> the books are loosely based on them. It's so fun, they're part of the whole process. Oh, we work together for the mischief. Oh, you all work together as a, as a crew? Yes, <laughs> the mischief maker crew. What's your favorite um, subject in school? Art. 
Uh, mine is lunch. Absolutely racist. <laughs> Could those boys be more adorable? <laughs> They're so cute. I love their little matching Four shorts. boys, two dogs, <laughs> and a partridge in a bag. Okay. Full house. What is your best piece of advice yeah. for parents with anxious children? You know, I guess my biggest piece of advice would be just to validate their feelings. What they're coming at you with might seem far-fetched, might seem attention-seeking, but if they're taking the time to come to you about it, it's something that, that's concerning them at their age. And, and, you know, comfort them. Let them know they're going to be okay. Now, a few weeks ago, we announced the contest that you were having to yeah. uh, for a child to enter and become a character in your book. Yes. What happened? So, I'm so excited. Our winner, her name is Aubrey Lynn. She lives right here in San Antonio, which is super cool because it was a national contest. Um, her mom passed away two years ago, oh. and her grandmother entered her and loved the Mischief Makers. And um, it's just so exciting, like of all kids, to get this kind of special surprise out of nowhere. She's just elated. We stopped by her house on Sunday to bring a signed copy. Oh, I, I just that. realized the boys are wearing the red and white striped t-shirts like on the uh, yeah. on the cover of the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have a giveaway too, right? We do. So now until the end of May, May 31st, people can go onto our website, mischiefmakerbooks.com, and sign up for the book club for free, which is super cool because all these things we shared here today, we share them monthly in a newsletter. So they can sign up today for free through the end of the month and get these kind of ideas emailed to them every month, first yeah. of the month. Right. And so many of these great ideas. I mean, it's fun for, for the parents to do, too, you know, to come yeah. up with this and to play with your kids because you can act like a kid again, too, doing this right. stuff, right? Right. It is. Like we did. With yes, I still haven't course. found my dinosaurs like, yet. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Christine, for more thank information you guys. on all her books, the book club, and all her fun activities. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live, looking for a cool hangout spot Memorial Day weekend. Yes, great food, great beer, live music, they have it all where you can find this beautiful oasis. But first, the holiday weekend is also the perfect time for an animal adventure where you can meet this cute camel and more of his furry friends next on SA Live. Did you know that one in four people will experience a mental health disorder this year? During this month of mental health awareness, KSAC Community is spotlighting a local nonprofit that fights to break the stigma. The National Alliance on Mental Illness San Antonio provides free educational classes, support groups, and public awareness to help all individuals and families donate today for a stigma-free future at NAMI-SAT.org. KSAC Community, in partnership with University Health, RBFCU, and Energy Transfer. You don't have to go far to get up close and personal, nope. yay, with some exotic animals. <laughs> yes, Jared Forthman from Animal World Snake Farms who joins us to show how their animal family is growing and of course how folks can have some animal encounters like this one, which Mike, again, is so excited for. He hasn't stopped talking about <laughs> this it. This is Caleb, by the way, who's also <laughs> helping to hold the, the beast. Yeah, this is Hercules, and he's one of the, the favorites to book animal encounters with, where you can get up close and personal, get pictures with your family and stuff. But uh, Hercules is just about 15 feet long, weighs just over 100 pounds. And like I mentioned, he's one of the favorites uh, that's out during a lot of our educational shows and, and stuff. He's an albino. <laughs> that's right. Python, right. That's correct. So he lacks any dark pigment in his skin. Okay. So this would be kind of rare to find in the wild. He feels really strong. He is. He's uh, <laughs> what's known as a constrictor. So Hear that? lovely. Yes. He just gives really tight hugs. <laughs> Does he feel like he's giving you a hug, Mike? <laughs> now, they have poor eyesight, right? But they mainly use... That's right. Uh, Bernie's pythons particularly uh, don't have good eyesight at all, and he's relying on that sense of smell. Mm -hmm. So he can tell, like, okay, Mike doesn't smell like a rat, so he's most likely not food, <laughs> Thank right? Thank you. It's the nicest compliment you've ever paid me. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and as big as this guy is, you have one bigger? That's right. God. As impressive as Hercules is, is we have a new display out there with what is possibly the largest snake on display in Texas. And we're going to be getting her out to weigh tomorrow and get an actual length on her. So keep an eye on our Facebook page for the results of that. But she's already on display. So folks can giant, see her already. Giant reticulated python. He'll and yep, she's ready to ready to view out see? there. Yeah, you'll, he'll be there this afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> No. <laughs> so um, how often uh, do they need to eat? 
Uh, at this size, mm -hmm. he gets offered food every three to four weeks. He may not always eat that much. Mm -hmm. They have an extremely slow metabolism and he's not growing very much in his older age. So uh, he doesn't eat too often. Okay, just in case he's hungry, we'll put him down now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Since it is hump day, got here a break, yes. man. Yes, okay. You brought he's someone who's arm. been he's on got, this show he's got before that when, <laughs> when she was a little, little, little bit. That's right, yeah. that's right, when she was uh, just a little baby. Emily Jaffe mm -hmm. is taking care of, who is this? This is Katerina. She's one of the camels that lives at the Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. Okay. And as you were saying right off the very top, it's 40 is the number all about camels, That's right? the magic number for camels. So they can live to be up to 40 years old. They can run 40 miles an hour and they can drink up to 40 gallons of water in one sitting. And how long will that last them before they need water again? So 40 gallons of water would last them about a month in pretty extreme situations, but they would want water a little bit more frequently than that, but they could last about a month on 40 gallons. And you said most camels nowadays are domesticated. Correct. Um, they've actually been domesticated longer than any other species except for the dog. Um, so they're very used to being around people, very used to having a job, like to work, all that fun stuff. And they hang out together? Yes, they do like to live in groups. So our group of camels that we have at the zoo, we've got Klaus, who's full grown. He's about 1,200 pounds. Uh, next in line, we have Katerina here. She's two. And then uh, Kala is our youngest one on display. We actually have a new baby camel that we're actually getting ready to start uh, using for private encounters this summer as well. And that hunt stores how many pounds of, or how, how much fat? So it just kind of depends. Um, on a really, really, really healthy camel, you're gonna have a really big hump. That just means that they they have access to lots of resources. Um, baby camels are born with no hump. So our youngest camel right now kind of almost looks like a llama. She doesn't have much of a hump at all. And, and those are not eyelash extensions either. Yeah. Yes, no. no, these are all natural. She's got these beautiful long eyelashes to help keep her eyes nice and hydrated in the dry desert sand. She was born with it, Mike. Was yes, born with it. well, the other exotic we have, wow. this guy, and this is a, oh, oh she's, hey. hello. Hi. Oh, somebody was. Oh, you're welcome. I said you were born with it. I know you're so beautiful. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is this is Allie here. Allie's a, a really young American alligator. Um, she's nowhere near full grown. Uh, she's How about three she years old. So we have large adult alligators that range in size from about seven feet to our largest being just over 12 feet. Oh, good lord. That's right. <laughs> So they get to be pretty massive. And you go in and feed those things though, don't you? That's right. Matter of fact, we kick off our first alligator and croc show of the season, which is this Sunday at three o'clock. We go in there and hand feed some large impressive animals. Because it's, how long has it been since they've really gotten, you know, they haven't all that had food? a good meal since around last September. And there's a reason, right? That's right. Really? So they live off of the storage that's found in the, the fat in their tail. Um, kind of like camels going a long time without food or water, alligators can uh, can double that. So. so the first show is really kind of the most intense. This can right, be, right? It really can be. Yeah. These alligators come out and they're ready to feed and start replenishing that storage they've got. And starting this weekend, you're going to be open seven days a week, 10 to 7, correct? 10 to 7, that's right. With uh, educational shows around the clock, every 30 minutes, we're getting you up close and personal with something. Lots of hands-on opportunities. Animal and encounters. don't forget yes. our private animal encounters. They're a huge hit. We're doing those again. So. And go online to register for that. And for more information, Animal World and Snake Farm, it is a great place right there on 35. Head on over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Still ahead on the show. Are you turning 30 soon? Maybe 40 or even 50? Don't dread your next big milestone. We've got the products to keep you young and feeling great at any age. And next, you wish your home had a little more room. How about that perfect kitchen you've always wanted? No need to renovate where you can find the home of your dreams. It's straight ahead on SA Live. A trip to Tuscany in the Texas Hill Country. That's what you'll find at this home, 15 minutes north of San Antonio on the 2021 Parade of Homes. We're taking you out to the Bell Oaks community for a tour of the builder of this home, Adam Smith, who's the president of Everview Homes. What a gorgeous home. How did you come up with the plan for this? Thank you. I came up with the plan and looking at this subdivision, which is really a luxury lots, I would, I would describe it as. 
I, uh, I went through and just wanted to see who I thought probably would want to buy a house like this. So this is probably a pretty large for a three bedroom, but it has absolutely every room that uh, somebody who wants to buy a luxury home would want. This fantastic foyer that goes through the whole house horizontally. A great office over here, a huge formal dining room that opens into the family room. So it really feels like part of the whole space. It goes into the breakfast area and the kitchen, a gigantic gay room over here. The master bathroom is huge with a giant stone tower that goes in the inside. And really two, two additional masters at the end that are kind of, I don't know, the secondary space. So that I envision the person who buys it would really love having the huge patio and use absolutely every square foot of the house. And then when kids or friends come over, they still have those two rooms, but his game room and entertaining and, and uh, all the other space that he has would be very, very useful. So the family can get together in the middle and then separate on the ends, right? There you go. Or you have a huge office. You're not missing the, the wife. Of course, she wants the formal dining room with all the stuff that she wants over there. He has his man cave game room in the back with the bar and, and wet bar and all that stuff. This huge master suite with a view going to the back. So it kind of checks off every box of what I envision. Somebody who would truly want a luxury home on a luxury lot and a luxury subdivision like this would, and would want. modern Mediterranean. What uh, features did you incorporate to get that feel? Well, the Mediterranean, I truly love. I built lots of houses like that. I built some modern ones too, but I wanted this house to truly feel timeless in a way. So it'll last and be not, not so much of a, of a, of a trendy home. So it still has like this office has a radius in it. It has towers in it. But if you look at some of the architecture, it's, it's kind of squared out. There's not a whole bunch of, of, um, of, too many arches all over the place. So it's kind of a, a hybrid that I think will last for years. As always, Christy Sutterfield, the Executive Vice President of the Greater San Antonio Builders Association is here. And what a gorgeous house. Is this what folks can expect with the 2021 parade of homes? Absolutely. This is one of my favorite houses. This modern Tuscany with the metal roof and you walk in and you see the wine bar and just, could you believe that master closet? Yeah. <laughs> it was a bedroom you itself. lost in there. I know, I know. But there's so many things to see on the parade this year, Mike. We have 10 distinctively different houses. Um, everyone should come out because there are all different interior design features, all the hottest trends. It's a, it's really one of the best parades we've ever hosted. How do people get tickets to come see it? Well, they can buy tickets on site. We have a ticket trailer here. We have ample parking. You can also buy your tickets online at sabuilders.com and then we'll scan your ticket when you come in. And of course, you have some wonderful sponsors help them put the show on, right? We do, and we couldn't do it without them. And I want to say a special thank you to CPS Energy. Um, they partner with us on all of our housing tours. We also have Hollywood Crawford garage doors and openers and MG Building Materials and the North Park Family Dealerships. And you know what that means. Kind of pick out something to fill the garage. Well, we're going to have Lincolns and Lexuses and Mazdas. So you can come out and you can shop for a home and meet all these dynamic builders. You can also buy a new car. Well, the 2021 Parade of Homes features 10 builders in Bell Oaks and runs now through May 31st. For more information, visit sabuilders.com or download the San Antonio Parade of Homes app for free on iPhone and Android. Next on SA Live, great food and craft beer brewed on site. This place has everything you need for a perfect holiday weekend. We take you there. Well, if you are looking for a really nice place for some outdoor dining, live music, craft beer over the long Memorial Day holiday weekend, Dodging Duck Brew House in the Texas Hill Country is just about 20 minutes right up I-10 northwest of San Antonio. Yes, from salads, burgers, and hoagies to steaks and hill country sausage plates. The food is all made fresh while the craft beer is brewed on site and goes straight to the bar. I've eaten there before and it is delicious. <laughs> and Jen Tobias Trotsky takes us right along Cibolo Creek up there in Bernie for this great dining experience. here at the Dodging Duck Brew House and Restaurant. Let's go inside and get a taste of the menu. It seems like we're always busy now. It, uh, <laughs> it wasn't that way when I started and it's, uh, 
it's just becoming an everyday thing. Ian Richmond is the man behind the Copper Cloud Brewery that pipes directly into the bar. I think just general in society right now, there's a big push for people finding things that are house made or homemade and, you know, mm -hmm. being a part of an organization where, you know, we're here every day making the beer, preparing the food and giving it straight to the consumer where they're coming just to us for it. So I'm a big IPA kind of beer okay. drinker. So my favorite right now is actually wearing a t-shirt for it. It's Duck in the Buff. It's a uh, collab IPA with a new brewery that's going to be opening here in Bernie. We rotate through all our beers throughout the year. And so depending on the time of year, how busy we are, you know, the beer might only be on tap for two weeks. Uh, some of our darker beers through the winter are going to be on tap for a few months. And as far as the menu goes, do you have any recommendations for first timers? Uh, my favorite has to be the fish and chips and the heart of Bernie salad. The impressive menu includes everything from beer snacks to burgers. Man, if you're looking for something lighter at lunch, I love the veggie hoagie and our pea soup. We're standing in front of the uh, brewery here. As you can see, ours has got uh, copper and brass on the outside of it, which isn't uh, very common anymore, especially newer breweries, just because of cost and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, and so the owners found this brewery used um, before they uh, even found this location, and so he bought it and, and uh, then started looking for where he's going to put his brewery. Oh, thank you so much. There you are. So tell me again what we have here. So these are our two beers, some of our favorites, our Pico de Pato Mexican Lager and our Duck and the Giant Peach. And you, all the beers have these cute little duck themed names, right? Almost all of them. Occasionally something will slip in that's not a duck themed name. Got it. I love the duck names. And yeah. by the way, they're right there. See the neighbors, the cute ducks. The name comes from uh, just the ducks uh, who frequent the park right here. have to run across the road back and forth, especially in the spring. And so uh, there's a lot of duck dodging going on on River Road and Bernie. And there's live music too. Well, cheers, Ian. Thank you for having me. Mm. Really, the local community, I think, has been the best part of, uh, of all of everybody's experience in Bernie. I mean, it's a great place to live. There's great people everywhere and uh, tons of great places to go and have a beer if you're into that kind of thing. Great little setting right there. And Dodging Dock's one of many breweries in Bernie, and it is an open container town, which means you can stroll up and down Main Street and have a nice cold one with you. Yes, and for more on Dodging Duck Brew House, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, next on the show, don't dread turning 30, 40, even 50. Get excited. We have the products that will make you feel and look your best at any age. Stay with us. You're watching SA Live. back to SA Live. Well, as we all try to age gracefully and hit some of those milestones, you know, the big ones, there are a few different things that uh, you need to maybe help you into that, that new decade that we all have to uh, face one day or another. And here to help us is our dear friend, lifestyle expert, Jen Munoz, as we hit those, you know, the big, the 30, the 40, the 50, and we'll stop there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. So hopefully you've been taking care of your skin, right? Yes, exactly. Especially for, let's say, folks that are hitting 40. We'll start with that one. Or no, let's start with 30. All right. Start with 30. All right. So for for those of us who have or have not been taking care of their skin, Olay has a Regenerist Whip product that is amazing. It has SPF 25, which we should be wearing no matter what our age is, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's also super fast absorbing, which makes it really easy, but it also um, is just great for your skin. It's dermatologist approved, and that is one way to keep yourself looking young and fresh always. Um, the next one is Rockies, which, you know, we're running around a lot in our 30s, and so having shoes that are um, fashionable but also functional is a really good um, option. And these are made out of recycled plastic bottles, um, but they're also like sneakers on the bottom. So they're really good for just running around, whether you're grabbing kids or, you know, headed to work or whatever. Um, and then we also have some weights that are also fashionable and functional to kind of, if you don't have time for your workout, you can pop these on your wrist and they just weigh a couple pounds you know, like a quarter of a pound, I think a piece. And so depending on how many you put on, you're good. They're made out of silicone and they're fashionable and really fun to be able to wear and get a little bit of extra oomph in there. That would even go like under a shirt sleeve too, or a sweatshirt sleeve or something like that. That's fantastic. That's a great idea. Yeah. 
But the next ones that are for in your 40s, and obviously you could wear them in your 30s as well, they're a little heavier weight. They're bala bangles, and they can go on your wrists or on your um, ankles, like you said. So they come in a wide range of colors, and so you could definitely just go black if you're going to wear with pants or a longer shirt or something like that. Um, or you could do something really bright and bold and beautiful if you're wanting to share those with everyone. Those things are a great idea. Okay, so that's 30s and 40s. Obviously, everybody's got to do the sunscreen. What about when you hit that half century mark? Yeah, so, you know, we've got a couple things. Um, one is um, CBD products are kind of very hot right now. Kristen Bell has a new line. So there's a feel good bundle that has all kinds of things to help you get to your happy place because um, we definitely want to do that in our 30s, 40s, and 50s. And then I was just sharing, I have on the modern monocle um, so it's a beautiful necklace and when you forget your glasses somewhere you can't find them you can actually use this they make these for men and women um, which are great yeah and then like I like to wear this like if I go out to a restaurant it's really great because you can just you know if you forget your glasses or you can't find your glasses and like we were just talking about with the dim light you can just use this put it up to your eye and be able to still read the menu but then like maybe no one notices and then we've also got some birdies shoes and I don't know if you can see the inside of these but they are like slippers so as you get older and you just want to have something comfy on your feet those are a really good option I love that idea. Okay, all these fantastic ideas coming from our favorite, I'm, I'm assuming still a 20 something, Jen Munoz out there, so. I've right? been using all, all these products, so yeah, I know. that's why you think that. And you're, you're forever 20 something there, so anyway, appreciate that, Jen. And if you'd like more information on all these great uh, ideas that Jen has, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always a pleasure seeing you with you. Next on SA Live, we've had a lot of spring storms and your windows may have taken a pounding. How to know when it's time to get replacements at low prices. Don't go anywhere. Your windows do a lot for your home. They add light and a sense of openness. They help you keep track of your kids when they're playing in the yard. And with a little help from the experts, they can even boost the value of your home and save you money. And this couple is at the top of their window game. Moses and Erica Torres, owners of the Window Source of San Antonio. Hey there, guys. Hi. All right, Moses, take us through some of the benefits of getting replacement windows. So replacement windows, uh, double pane, double strength glass window. So our biggest objective is to reduce the energy bills. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, during the summertime, we want our AC not to run as much. During the wintertime, like a few weeks ago or a couple months back, we had that cold snap. We don't want that cold air radiating through the house. So these, ha these windows are designed to help prevent any heat to escape the house during the winter time. And then of course, in the summertime, we don't want the cooler escaping in as well. So the, your blinds can tell you that, hey, they're, they're starting to drag. So it's like, hey, you know what? It's time for me to be changed out. So the windows will tell you the story. The benefits, of course, are to help reduce our energy bills. Customers usually tell us 35 to 40% is what they usually save. That's the big deal. And the technology is changing too, right? Because it's not just single pane windows. Correct. And of course, uh, wood, paint, wood sashes are a thing of the past. Aluminum things, uh, aluminum windows are a thing of the past. So now we're moving up to vinyl. So vinyl's less conducted to heat, uh, double pane windows, double strength glass, double OE. Everything's pretty much doubled in size so we can reduce our energy costs. If the vinyl components of the frame cracks, blisters, rots, peels, anything like that, we replace at no cost to you. We also offer a glass breakage warranty, seal fire warranty, labor warranty, and mechanical parts warranty. So the easiest way to put it, the only thing not covered on these windows is acts of God. So hailstorm, fire, heavy winds, tornado, that's under homeowner's insurance. But other than that, we cover 100% on these windows. Erica, they come in a variety of styles to fit your home, right? Something for everybody. Yes, absolutely. Um, our windows are custom made, so we offer all types of windows. Um, our most popular is our double hung window, but we also have picture windows, um, two light slider windows, three light slider windows, and specialty windows. So how much are we talking here? What's it going to cost someone for replacement windows? Well, you can take advantage of our great promotion right now. Um, you will get eight white double hung windows for $35.95 and that's with installation included. 
Of course, Eric and Moses of the Window Source of San Antonio, thank you so much for your time. Let's get that deal up on the screen so you can see it. Call now and you'll be able to get eight replacement windows for as low as $35.95. They offer the lowest price in San Antonio, guaranteed. And they also offer 18 months, no interest financing. The number to call is 210-806-7625. For more information, visit the website windowsourceofsa.com. Tomorrow on SA Live, summer is on its way. We share beat the heat hairstyles to keep your neck cool and your hair looking great. Plus, build your idea, ideal summer body in just a matter of weeks. Our Jen Tobias Trusky heads to a local gym and gets the workout of her life. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you if you could have an animal encounter, what, you know, what would it be? Brandy says, I have multiple, but there are a few, a wolf, coyote, fox, and an otter. I like those ideas. Elephant, baby cub, tiger, a giraffe. Ooh, and Lupita says, a tiger cub. You know, I've ridden an elephant before. When the, when the uh, circus used to come to town, it was oh. in Memphis one time, I rode oh an elephant. God, look at yes. you. Aww. And I've ridden a camel, but not that one. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.